Let's see, so they gave us a new one. They gave us a new little plastic clamp. It's gonna be a little square area and that's like a little rubber pad or foam pad. Actually, they changed it. It used to be a foam pad with an adhesive, but that would fall off over time. So now they just gave us a piece of plastic with a square orientation. It's gonna fit in there. It's gonna match it up. And this little bolt has a little bit of uh, white or yellowish material and it's just a splash. Anytime you see some type of paint on your threads, it's most likely a thread locker. The smaller the bolt, the less torque we use, which means it could also work its way free. So the thread locker is gonna keep those screws from vibrating free. It's gonna stop them from moving. And so this guy's offering a little bit of a challenge. Got the plastic piece that actually wants to stay open, but we need the screw to run through here all the way through so it can make contact with your fork. So we need to squeeze that closed, get enough screw purchase to come through so we can get it started here without screwing up our threads in the fork. So I'm also trying to keep this fork from flopping around. So either you have a handlebar holder, which I do, but I refuse to use it at this moment. I think I'm gonna wind up here. So I'm just trying to push some pressure, keeping a straight line. And this is where some feel comes in. You wanna feel if you're starting to cross thread or not. And of course, getting your straight, your alignment correctly. The alignment's typically the hardest thing. You think you're in a straight line and you're not. Yep, super tough. When in doubt, take your bolt out. I'm gonna separate it from this plastic. And we're gonna try this all by itself. Just to, you're gonna get the idea of what angle, what line you need to take coming in. Yeah, see that right there. I got it that engaged right there. And another small little detail. So the paint, the thread locker they put on there, they did a good job because they put it more or less in the middle. They left me two, three threads of free, no paint on it. So that means I can have a good shot of getting in here cleanly rather than hitting a thread locker right off the bat. So I can kind of get an idea of what line I need. That's, that's my straight line. So I could be off this way, I could be off this way, this way, or but now that I know that, now I gotta fight the plastic as well as this hydraulic line. But I know my threads are good and I know it, everything fits in there. I just have to work it. So I'm gonna get this back through. So that sandwich always wants to come open. If I could somehow squeeze it closed, push the screw through, expose my threads, then focus on a straight line. Easier said than done. All with finding the appropriate pressure. Sweet, got it. And I'm gonna do this nice and snug, two fingertips. As soon as you feel it hit stop, we're gonna go just a little extra, boom. <laughs> 